Okay, uh, well then, uh, the, the strong chief discussion. Um, I guess uh, the engineers, I'd like to sort of turn it over to you to, to find out what, what you were sure. thinking and explain <coughs> why this is uh, uh, being brought forward. Sure. Um, the Board of Fire Engineers voted to um, two to one to go forward with the strong chief. Um, so not all of us are in favor of it. <laughs> Get that up front. Um, I guess I would be the one pushing for it. Um, what I found is that it, for me, it's very tough to run the department the way it is. Um, we need to have posted meetings in order to make decisions, in order to order things, um, whether, um, and we also need to make sure that we post it within 48 hours of having a meeting. Um, there have been occasions when we had meetings and didn't have um, the other two or another person show up to be in agreement because at least two have to be in agreement. Um, it, it, um, I find it very tough to operate that way and the strong chief would fix that. The strong chief would um, be some changes for the department. It would um, put all the decision making on the chief. It would also um, change some of the um, ways that we do things now, which, um, like putting on personnel, uh, the chief would appoint the person instead of right now that the fortify engineers approves the person, they get put on a list, and then each of the companies pick from the list who they want to put on a company. other changes um, that would you know take effect like promoting captains lieutenants stuff like that they would be appointed by the chief um, so, um, that would also be a change that right now that the um, companies appoint their lieutenant and chief annually uh, their lieutenant and captain annually, annually. Um, so, there are some changes the biggest thing for me is the day-to-day -day operations that I just can't do. That um, we have to wait for a posted meeting to get something done. Um, and that's my biggest reason for putting this forward. What's a, what, what, give, give some examples. Well, we like we had the SCBA grant. Um, that was, we had a committee that um, all, a lot of the captains were on. Um, we had meetings, had different vendors come in. Um, we went to make a final decision and two of us were there and not in agreement on which as we wanted this, the SCBAs we got but different straps on them. So we had to post another meeting and get it done that way. Um, there, you know, there were um, the truck committee. Um, we had you know, you saw the truck today that we got a great truck. Um, we had a truck committee that um, went through the process of different vendors, probably had, I think, five or six different vendors come out, met with them. Um, when it was time to pick a vendor, we didn't have the other two engineers there to make a decision, so we had to post another meeting, and it just moves things out. Who's in charge of the department? The Board of Fire Engineers are right now. So, in theory, where the, the public believes that it's the chief, is the chief in charge of the department? Well, I'm, I'm really not the chief. <laughs> I'm the chief engineer. Um, and that, I think, is maybe the misconception because we always call me the fire chief. Uh, Who's in charge of the department? The Board of Engineers. So to me, um, I think when you look at this model um, from a management perspective, it's definitely a challenge. How many, how many communities have the uh, board? Well, I did a survey 
Um, and out of let's see, 115 responses, I believe it was. I think it's in here. Six, six yeah. Out of the 115 responses I received, um, four didn't respond because they were either silver servers or they didn't know what they were. Um, 84 were a strong chief, 22 were a weak chief, and five, including Pepperell, are Board of Fire Engineers. Where, uh, where, where does the where does this term Board of Fire Engineers and structure come from? 1700s? Yeah, state law. Yeah, yeah it's a so state it's law. I mean, it's chapter, oh, let's see, I can look at that. Chapter 48, 40, yeah, it's, it's right in the three and four. It, it right goes now, back so. to yeah. 200 years ago. Right. And I think the, you know, um, I've seen this come forward to town meeting. Um, you know, my concern is from a, from a manager perspective, I think that um, you, you hit the nail on the head. You really, it's not the, it, you're not in charge necessarily. You know, it's the other two engineers uh, can then um, override what the chief engineer uh, would like for the department. So from that perspective, it's it's definitely a, a concern. Um, but you know, I, I want to know, and I think I've talked to a few folks, uh, what the firefighters think, uh, because I think that uh, we are fortunate to have a volunteer fire department. So to make the change um, and support it from my perspective, I think it's um, probably problematic. Um, but from a command structure, I think that um, folks need to consider this uh, at some point. Because what will happen is that um, if something goes wrong, um, I see that uh, there's the perception within the community of who's in charge. And when um, folks look at it from the outside and say, well, this, is, this, this model is something that's from a couple hundred years ago, mm -hmm. then it potentially could be a problem. And then someone else would make decisions. But I want to, um, I'd like to hear what the firefighters have to say and talk to them uh, personally. Because I, I know at town meeting, it's gone down if, in flames. I mean, that's the scene to have the support. So why as a selectman would I support something like this? if the firefighters don't support it. Not all of them are in favor of it. But I'm not sure they understand what what happens beyond the fire scene. And that might. What about the other two uh, fire engineers? I mean, what, what are your thoughts on this? I mean, we've heard Toby's and so I guess <coughs> you, you are the current board of directors, more or less, of, so what are your thoughts on the advantages and disadvantages of Toby's or what yeah. Toby's proposal is. Um, I've been I've been uh, uh, for it. I've been pretty pretty outspoken about it. Um, I think the what I've seen over the years is that uh, we have you know we we went from um, a board of fire engineers and none of them were employed full time by the town. They were you know even the chief was an on call personnel. Uh, we've evolved. To having a full-time chief who, who now has a staff, uh, you know, three full-time firefighters, paramedics, um, and is, is much more um, in tune with the day-to-day -day operations of the fire department, and yet doesn't have the full authority of a fire chief. And um, but does that staff actually answer to the chief or to the board of fire engineers? Well, technically to the board of fire engineers. Um, even though the chief is the one who's there during the day supervising, you know, providing supervision to, to those, to those uh, employees. I mean, if there were an issue, they would come to the Board of Fire Engineers and we would meet and talk about those things. Um, but from a day-to-day -day operations, it's the fire chief who really oversees that. Uh, the fire chief is, you know, mandated by law to make, to make sure that certain reporting gets done to the state. Um, and, you know, again, it's it's like it's like given a title, but without you know with all the all the um, responsibilities, but without the authority to really have that title. And it's it, to me it seems cumbersome uh, at best. Um, so I think you know having having kind of only been in this position for about you know a little over a year, 
but certainly even as a firefighter, uh, I, I felt pretty strongly that it's an old, archaic system that just doesn't really fit anymore. And it, it's, you know, eventually it's going to be time to, to change that as, as we've grown as a department, as we've grown as a, as a town. But can, can the, you know, I, I, I scratch my head. You know, some folks have talked to me about this. Yeah. I keep going back to the same answer. It's got to come from the firefighters. Why is it the board keeps presenting this when the firefighters aren't necessarily in support of it? I don't, I don't understand. Well, I think, you know, because I've talked to a lot of firefighters, too, and, I, and um, there are firefighters that are for it. Clearly, I've spoken to them. Um, you know, many of them have spoken to me about their willingness or unwillingness to speak up for it because there's there's some tension around this this issue. Um, my the biggest thing is is I think it's the fear of change. I think it's the fear of what you know what can happen, what could possibly happen. It's we've had this system for a very long time. It's worked. Well, it's outlined what can happen. Right. I mean, it's quite clear. What right. Can yeah. As far as the strong chief. Sure. Yeah. All the changes. Right. So it's a lot, you're right, it's, it, it's a lot of change. Um, I've spoken to a lot of departments as we've uh, been going through this. You know, when you made the transition, what was it like? For the average firefighter, really not a whole lot, not a big difference. Uh, for the structure and the, the operation of the fire department, it, it's, uh, it's a better management model. Uh, but what if, what if the firefighters quit? Well, I, you know, we've had a lot of changes on this fire department over the last, I've been on 12 years. Um, and, you know, when, when we decided to merge the ambulance and the fire department, there were a lot of people that were like totally against it. It's going to ruin the fire department. No way, no way, no way. We did it. Probably one of the best things that ever happened in the fire department. Now we're all together working as one. Um, we've changed some, some operating procedures. We respond to the stations instead of the trucks. When that was first put forth, oh no, 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 we can't do that. That'll be that'll destroy the fire department. We can't. It's been one of the best things we've done. I think that I think this is a change, and I think that it's progressive change. And I get that people don't want that. Um, that that's about all I can speak to that. I think that it's people are you know there's a lot of folks that are very weary of change because it's change. Have you had a vote within the departments, up or down? Why would you do that? Or sort of have a public hearing like like this right now? Why would you do that? Within your own department, to, so so everyone has a shot to voice their opinion. Well, no, it's been presented to the to the body, and it's um, you know the, I think the uh, I mean you can speak to this better than I can, but um, and have we've elicited many times feedback. You know, what do you guys think? And we haven't gotten a lot of feedback. Uh, Is that them telling you no? Could be. I'd like to hear what Peter has to say. Peter? Your son? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, I do uh, see what Toby was putting up with last last year. Uh, some of the meetings that were missed were because of me, because I was hospitalized twice for spine surgery. So that, that did take me out of my, my role um, for, for a short time to take care of Peter first. Um, I don't miss much what's going on in the fire department. And um, one of the unfortunate things for the fire department right now is that um, I was a captain for 18 years, elected each year, and I was a lieutenant for seven years before that. And there's a different perspective that I bring to the table um, than, than what these two guys have had. That, that Toby was a lieutenant for a little while and a captain for a very short time, and Jonathan, you know, never was an officer. So it, it, it's, it's a, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of uh, responsibility to run a company in itself. And I enjoy the fact that our structure of people select who they want to be their leader. I don't always think that sometimes change is good, but sometimes it's not. And I, and I think that uh, sometimes it can hurt things make it go away and there aren't really that many critical situations that I see that come to the our office 